Hi there, welcome to Yoga Physio Zone. I'm Sinead and today we are going to do um, how to massage your neck lymphatics. Um, so you've got about a third of your lymphatics are actually in your head neck region. And as you probably may know, your lymphatics actually drain cellular waste. So the waste from your brain cells, your ear cells, your eye cells, your mouth, um, your teeth, whatever, and they all go through your lymphatic system. And then eventually all lymph from everywhere in the body actually um, converges around your neck region and then it gets dumped into your circulatory system in underneath the collarbones here, um, kind of down deep inside in the subclavian veins. So um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to massage your neck lymphatics. And this is the basis for any larger lymphatic massage of your, um, your whole body. It'll always start with the neck, so um, serves many purposes. So, just a word of warning: if you have an active infection going on in your sinuses, your teeth, um, whatever, um, you know, somewhere around your head, neck region, it's not the time to be doing a lymphatic massage because you could actually spread the infection. It's just not a good idea. So, you really only do lymphatic massage um, after the infection has gone. You're off the antibiotics, and, and you can start working on them then. Or you can work in a distant way, so not in the actual, let's say, of a, of a problem with this tooth here. I wouldn't be working on the lymphatics around there, but I might work on some of the, um, the ones like farther away, the ones that aren't sore. So we'll get started and I can talk you through it as we go along. But considering that the lymphatics drain to the subclavian vein, which is deep inside us and below the collarbone, and um, we're going to put our fingers each side of the um, the collarbone. So, and we'll just meet the fingers, just kind of giving a little kind of, um, I suppose, a little bit of manipulation there. Now, you don't go like the biggest, deepest one that you can do. About a four out of ten in depth is just about right for lymphatics, okay? So off we go, and we're just going to kind of work our way along. The collarbone there above and below working on the nodes above and below and working slowly working our way towards the center slowly working our way towards the center and right in to where the collarbone ends okay and right into where the collarbone You know, and if you feel any little bit of thickening, you can maybe work a little bit more in that area. Just felt a little bit there as I was talking to you. Um, just working on that area there. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So getting the fingers each side of the collarbone and then just working on it there. So as I was saying, lymphatics um, deal with cellular waste, but they're also part of your immune system and therefore they help to clear infections. So when you have swollen glands, when you have a sore throat, for example, those really are your, your lymph nodes, all right? And they're actually um, working to help you to fight those invaders that have taken over your neck and caused a neck infection. Um, so that's another job that the lymphatics do. Um, so sometimes after an infection has gone and it's no longer sore and whatever, you you know, your lymph nodes in this area may be quite clogged. And particularly if you have repeated infections in your throat or in your teeth or in your sinuses or even in your ear, um, you know, or if you've problems, you feel that it's not quite gone, but you're off the antibiotics and, you know, things... Um, don't feel normal yet well that's a really good time to get going with your neck lymphatics so you're going to work along the collarbones there and i would suggest that you would probably do um you know a total of you know up to five minutes there but again it's just about a four out of ten in in depth you're not pushing your hardest okay and then we're ready to do the rest of the neck lymphatics but we've cleared the way with kind of working on these nodes that are nearest to the subclavian vein. Once the waste reaches your bloodstream, it can then be processed by your liver and your kidneys and it can be removed from your body. Okay, 
So the next set of nodes I'm going to work on, we're going to work now from the top back down to where we started. And we're going to start on a set of nodes that lie along the base of your skull. So I'm going to turn around and stop talking for a minute so you can still hear me. Um, so. This area here is where my bone ends and my neck begins, okay? And for me, it's kind of along my hairline, but for other people, it might be a little bit higher or lower. So it's just where your bone ends. Put your hand on your skull and bring it down and then you kind of feel almost like a dip where your, your skull ends and your neck begins. And it's along that line going from that center point right across to the back of your ear to the mastoid process, which is this bone at the back of the ear. OK, so we're just going to start in the center and you don't have to have your hands up. You can have your hands down like that and then off you go, just doing little circles with your index fingers. OK index and middle fingers just mooching around mooching around mooching around and then moving a little bit out and again spending up to five minutes on this area as you kind of come out to the mastoid process and then you can kind of go back in towards the center just working those nodes just kind of um keeping a nice rhythm going okay and that's your suboccipital nodes your occiput being kind of that bone at the base of your skull so suboccipital nodes all the way along from the center right out to your mastery process. Now for the next bit, for my next trick. So if you get your finger kind of your ears there and just in the dip behind you, kind of in between your ear and your mastoid process, which is that bone, put one finger there, put one kind of just behind the bone, the mastoid process, and the other just on your jaw, on your parotid gland, okay? So just going to do that three little fingers and then you're going to do the same on the other side one just at the dip at the back of the ear one just in front of the ear and one behind and you're just going to mooch around and if you want you can put your baby finger just a little bit lower on your jaw so you're getting the lower part of the parotid gland and you are just mooching about like that giving it a nice massage four out of ten in depth um, if you have a dry mouth, it might be worth doing this as well because this parotid gland is one of your salivary glands and perhaps, perhaps it just needs a little bit of help in getting um, its, uh, its function back in order. And sometimes when you've had an ear infection, these kind of glands at the back of the ear and below the ear, they're often the ones that really feel still quite tender and, and it's okay to work on tender nodes as long as the active infection is gone but just go easy on them okay um don't don't make yourself sore sore -er, okay um so just mooching around there again i would definitely spend three or four minutes there no bother and then we are going to take the section that is under our chin so we have a whole section of glands that actually lie between our chin and our neck in our sublingual area. Sublingual meaning underneath the, the, the tongue. So just going to put the, um, the fingers there and I'm just going to mooch them around. And then Again, I'm just going to work out towards the angle of my jaw. So I'm working out along the line of my jaw, just where the jaw ends and the soft bit starts the whole way along till I get to the outer jaw. Mooching around, easing. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually stretch my neck up as I do this to get the nodes as they're on a stretch. Sometimes it kind of... Um, gets the deeper ones you can kind of feel some tissues that you can't feel when your head is down like that so 
feel free to move your neck a little bit in different angles if you feel you're getting you know a greater depth of massage when you're doing that so we're spending a few minutes there then you can pause the tape and spend a bit longer particularly if you've had any infections in your lower teeth and you kind of feel that it's a little bit clogged or in fact if you are about to get a tooth done fairly soon taken out or some big job done might be a good idea to just give your lymphatic a little bit of um a little boost before you um before you get the job done okay and so we come to the next section which is that side section that's coming from our ear down into the supra because it's their notch now in some people they have a nice hollow in there i don't know yeah when i do that you can see it that hollow there inside the collarbone but in front of that muscle there is the trapezius so that's the supra clavicular notch so we're going to call that the notch so that line down the side from my ear down into there not coming down the front line here of my sternomastoid muscle where i've got my carotid artery and you don't want to be massaging your carotid artery so um just you know massaging down and into the notch and do that on both sides and crossing your hands for this one is actually really good i'm gonna cross my hands I'm gonna come down Slowly, 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 four out of ten in depth, coming the whole way down until I reach that super clavicular notch. And again, I could spend up to three or four minutes doing that. So once if you get down there and you think, oh, I could do it with another go, go back up, come down again. There you go. And bring it back down. Slowly, 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 and into the notch. So press the ball button and do that a couple of more times. Okay? And then once you get to the end, just spend a bit of time in the actual notch itself. That's super clavicular notch. There are heaps of nodes around there. It's a really rich nodal area. Um, also collects waste from the tops of your lungs. So if you are a smoker, perhaps there is a bit of um, excess um, kind of waste hanging around there in the supraclavicular notch. Um, and it's also this area is quite linked to the, the nodes in your breast tissue as well. Um, so yeah, here we go. We are back down in the supraclavicular notch, kind of nearly where we started. <clears throat> and then once again, just working your way from that notch in along the line of your collarbone right into the center so just working on that coming in i left my chain on i shouldn't have here we go right into the center and then we can go back to the one we started with very nice <clears throat> excuse me i'm working like that now that's kind of a fairly comprehensive um, lymphatic massage for your neck. Adding in a couple of deep breaths is really good for your lymphatics as well because that stimulates um, movement of your diaphragm, which stimulates your um, lymphatics of your, your trunk and uh, is considered to be like a pump for your lymphatics. Um, trampolining is really good for your lymphatics. Um, but the other option for you um, if you just have a few minutes and you, maybe your hands are tired from doing all the lymphatic massage you've been doing the last few days, you can just do tapping. So all along those lines of lymphatics that I was telling you, the suboccipital, these ones here, including the parotid, the line down the side to the supraclavicular notch, these ones here, they can all be kind of stimulated by using tapping as well. So you're just kind of getting your fingers and you're just kind of to show you from the side my wrist is doing the action my fingers are kind of taut and my wrist is just doing the action like that so it's not my hands working it's actually my wrist doing the work 
you can feel that hollow sound because you get a really nice tapping like that so that's kind of an area that's what you know you can do that also they love that lymphatics love kind of vibration hence um trampolining being really good for them any kind of um yeah vibratory effect at all so really really good um option is also tapping as well particularly you know you could be stuck in traffic and you just you can let the other drivers think you're mad by doing a little bit of that but that's a great way of um working your le neck lymphatics so there you go that's um that is how you actually stimulate your neck lymphatics and as i was saying it's often a preparatory um area before we do the rest of the lymphatic system or it certainly is a stand-up routine in its own right so best of luck with that and uh, take care and we'll talk again bye